So how are we doing guys and welcome, it's Kraken here and we've got just one question for you. Can a nerd survive the zombie apocalypse? How are we doing guys? Welcome. It is four o'clock in the morning and we're about to go for a bit of a swim. As you saw from the last episode, we did get ourselves completely sorted. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. We did get ourselves completely sorted overnight. We've had some food. We've refueled the bike and we're... Oh my god, here we go, flapping turkeys already. Um, where are we going? I probably didn't even need to go through that lake. I'm so used to going to this town, just the right side of me. There's that treasure we never made it to on Horde Night, so we'll definitely be doing that at some point. But, um, yeah, we're going to go and do this firing range today, which could be, could be a little bit interesting. Because this is going to be the first raid that we're going to be doing on insane difficulty. So, just heading towards that red flag now. that We've never even explored this area, which does normally tend to mean there's going to be a few more zombies just roaming around. Oh, we've got a bit of a hill here as well. So, we're, this is uncharted territory for us. So, um, let me... Um, try my best to get ourselves over in that direction and see what we're dealing with. So, let's get cracking. Fatality. Hello, Loza. Oh, right. Well, this is one I was hoping it was. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the firing range. Which is a very good POI, so we're out in the middle of nowhere. We've never even seen this town. We got as far as this one. Um, we got a trader and we got the tier 2 up there. But it's actually quite a distance. That was the lake that we just jumped through there. So from our home town, it's, um, it's quite a distance up here. But we are right in the bottom corner of the map. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles right now. I decided to ditch the, um, what do we call it, the crossbow, decided to ditch it for this thing, now I haven't got a silencer on here which might be, might be a bad, a real bad thing, a really really bad thing, I do not know, um, but from what I can remember, there wasn't much sniping you could do in here anyway. Uh, let's just make sure we're on the right quest. 3.4 meters, that'll be the one. There we go, so this is a fetch and a clear. So we've got to go through and we've got to kill everyone anyway. So we're not going to double loot it. We're going to stop doing that. We haven't got time for that kind of stuff. But this one does get a little bit hairy. So we're going to have to make sure we actually play this one very very cautiously very cautiously now the worst the bad bit about this one is in the back area Oops, some coffee there i haven't seen any red dots come up just as of yet bit of gas there for us Ooh, some repair kits. Now, some people were talking about Lucky Looter and saying, because I have no points into Lucky Looter, one skill point available. Just quickly check it. Game stage 139 still. But a gun safe in there. Now, I'm going to leave those turrets where they are just for the second as a retreat. There's our first one. Are we going to be able to? Right, doesn't look like we've woken anybody up. Usually, if you're in a different room... 
Is there anything up there? No. Okay, just wanted to check. Yes, there is. I've never got those before. Well, we've got the eye candy, I'm pretty sure, on the bike, so we'll leave those there to remind us to get them at the end. Usually, sorry, I was getting 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 sidetracked. If you're in a different room, usually it won't it shouldn't wake other zombies up. He's a feral. Run. Right, so he's going to need more mods on him. Because at the moment I can't kill a feral. Not a feral homer anyway. Okay, so we did take a hit. Oh, look at the damage they do with a hit on insane. Uh, blah, blah, right. Yeah, they do do a bit of damage. Okay, right, boy, you can stay there. That's the only downside to um, things like a sniper rifle. Now, I'm thinking... Uh-oh. Yeah, I knew they would all be hiding, so I thought, just waking them up. Got a feral white here straight away. Come on, boys. Come on, you can do something. Don't let green tea do all the work. Right, we'll place you in front then, because I think we've got another one coming. I'm sure there'll be one more in that um, uh, area. I'll hide behind, like the good little coward I am. <laughs> right, there'll be another one down here. Okay, so we've got ammo piles. Yeah, so people have been saying about the Lucky Looter. I uh, can't remember how much I got into that a second ago. Get rid of the paper, we don't need the paper. But we do have the Lucky Looter goggles, we have the eye candy. So we'll do all of these at the end. Ammo pile, we'll do all of that at the end. Just to see if there's any decent drinks here for us. Honey, that could be very useful. Bit of food. Right, let's just go and quickly empty out onto the bike. We'll, we'll do this as well. I'm pretty sure I've got a jailbreaker, so we can do do that as well. Because we've got a hardened chest as well to do, so let's go out to the bike. Gash you up with that gas that we found. There we go, so we've got the eye candy and we've got the jailbreaker, because we'll need both of those at the end. So we'll take them with us now. Right, come on boys, to the next section. Shut that off just in case. We have some friends that turn up from outside. Now, I want this to be my retreat point at the moment. Don't you dare start falling through the earth. I've got time for that. Behind there, that's where the real issue starts coming. But well, we've got some friends down here. And they're just happy to see me. Oh. Ooh. Level 6 pistol, that's nice. Okay, right. I'm going to take a painkiller. We'll take some water as well. The old dehydration. There we go. Now, how are you boys doing? You, you boys alright? Reposition you two now. 
Now I made sure I had a thousand rounds in them or on me with them filled up. So we've used 200 so far. Now it looks like the supplies are going to be in this back area anyway. Was there anything back here? No, so you've got some of the worst zombies in the game down here. And there's actually no rewards here. Ammo pile there. Again, we'll pick that up at the end because we've got plenty of ammo on us. So it's not as if we need it. Another ammo pile there. Some wood here. I do want to make some more frames. So I'll quickly grab that. 24, thank you. Because this is where the fun starts. Now, every time I've come here... I thought about bringing grenades. Now they make it very difficult for you to get back out of here. Now some people have said that you can shoot out these barrels. Round up all the zombies, shoot out the barrels. They try and sneak you like there's all the loot and no red dots about. Now that's all very good and well. But you know that the fun pimps don't don't roll like that. Now I do need to get out of here somehow. Um oh, they they do it so well, they make them literally impossible. Can we jump onto there, jump onto there. Can we jump over? Yeah. Right. Turrets are back there. I'm locked and loaded. Stupid idea this is. <laughs> right. Kraken, you ready? Come get me. Oh. Now I've always thought about bringing grenades and stuff like that. Like that. Feral whites everywhere. Come on, because I don't want my turrets to run out. You can see zombies are coming from every direction. This is actually working really well. The floodgates are about to open. Here comes the radiates. Got that one trying to get out the window. Right, they're about to get it open, so let's just quickly get you two out. You two refill. Jesus, look at those red dots. Get down, you fool. Here we go. Big mama. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Open the door. Can't run too far away. I can't out outrun these. Come on, one at a time. I don't even think you're part of the quest. Come on. Die, you fool. Somebody coming out. Duck and run. Take a bandage. <laughs> oh my god. See, when the floodgates open like that, 
that's when I always thought having a grenade there would be a really good way to do that. Right, this is round the front. Let's just get some stamina back. Let's take a painkiller. God, scared the living crap out of me. What are you doing, game? <sighs> Don't do this to me. Right, make sure we're loaded. Yeah, we're locked and loaded. Quite sure where they are now. Did any of them come out? Any more of them? We've got a chicken. Oh, are you? Are you kidding? I've only shot like two magazines. Come on. We actually got a scream horde coming. Now you're the other side of there. Come on, I need to get back in this POI. Right, how are my turrets doing? You got any a any ammo at all left? Yeah, you had some ammo. Right, there's Big Mama. Right, you're reloaded. You had a bit of ammo left. You're reloaded. Come on, this is the path to me. I ain't being no hero today. There always used to be a few that never woke up in here that you'd have to go and find, but to me that seems like there's a few too many... You bugger. Sucker punch by Homer. He still didn't go down. My god. What have you guys been eating? I mean, like Popeye eating all the spinach. Oh my god, I thought, we'd, well, I thought we were lagging again then for a second. It's got my nerves all on edge. Right, let's go. Take these boys out one at a time. Come on, let your stamina build back up. What are you guys doing? Come on, follow me. Got a little, little something for you. Oh, don't be stupid. Come on, you even saw which way I went. There you go, that's it, big mama. You seem quite easy to kill. Yeah, lots of footsteps. What are you, what are you doing? That's it, come on. I have no intention fighting fair on my own. Oh, both of them made it. Oh, ho, ho. got your leg. Oh, and we got an airdrop. How come I always get an airdrop when I'm miles away? Miles and miles away from my home. Right, reload you. Now, I can only see one red dot there left. Only one red dot left. Is this going to be one of those annoying ones where I'm going to have to find the rest individually? We killed some up there that were upstairs. Right, no, it's saying cleared areas. Hopefully that is areas cleared. Apparently my supplies are 
somewhere around here. Maybe in this building here. Four meters under the stairs. Well, we've done the quest. Now, I've been through all of these top areas before. Done, Been there, done that, got the bloody t-shirt. So that isn't something we're going to need to do. Let's get your jailbreakers in. Let's get these opened up and see what we get. Eye candy taken, lucky looter goggles on. What have we got? Working stiff. Okay, definitely sell that, sell that steel axe. Some more 762. Never, never say no to that. What have we got here? Machete, another hunting rifle, more 762. Okay, large ammo pile. Flashlight mod. In fact, we could probably put that straight onto the old sniper rifle. Something we can put on there. There we go. That'll put the damage up a little bit more. There we go. More 762. Which is lovely jubbly. What have we got on the big one then? Marksman rifle. Is that even better than the sniper rifle? We're going to have to look into that. Oh, yes. Another robotic turret. We've got level 4 this time. Oh, we've got a rocket launcher. It's only a level 1, but it's a rocket launcher. Oh, we've got level 5 leg armour as well. I've, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I might not have the lucky looter go, uh, the point and lucky looter, but we're still finding some good stuff. Still finding some good stuff. Bit of food there for us. I say there's only trash piles and things like that in these other buildings. Apparently you, there's a way you can run around these and blow these barrels up. I'm not playing like that. <laughs> not, not in a million years. Right, pick you guys up. There's ammo piles over here. Okay. More shotgun shells. More shotgun shells. Right, we start scrapping you. What have we got in here? Display cabinets. Two times. More 762. We might actually come out of this with more 762 than we actually started with. Oh, ergonomic grip. That's very good. Another ammo pile. Okay. Oh, an SMG. It's only a level 1, though, which is a shame. Maybe this is what the Lucky Looter would give me. Just better quality stuff. I'm encumbered. Oh, that would have been last night. I thought that um, triple storage mod. Oh, a level 4. Okay, well, we're going to actually scrap you because we've made better. Another marksman rifle. So it was actually making a difference. Another ergonomic grip. Be very, very good for our tools. Well, we'll be back for you. Right, last thing. Let's quickly empty some of this stuff out onto the bikes. We've got two more boxes to get. Done this in very good time. Very, very good time. Cash you up. You get on there. Right, what did we have over here? There we go. Gun safe. Okay, another bunker buster. Okay, so that's all stuff we're going to sell. Right, this one up here. What was it? type of box was it? Gun store box. <sighs> the STI mod. The STI mod. Right, well we've got one hell of a um, trip now back to the trader, so I'll see you when we get there, in the words of Coolio. Right, here we go then. We are at the traders. So, let's just have a quick look in here. Jailbreakers, yep. Yeah. Uh, add some junkies, buy one of those as we are here now.
You must think you're we have now got now. Well, the best, so and I mean right the best, agreement. stashes now. And better barter. Which one's going to be the most to sell on? 1800. Well, it's definitely going to be the steel one then, isn't it? Oh, we can pick two. Uh, 1300, 1200, okay. Now we're going to have an issue here about um, actually carrying everything, so I'm going to drop the peas a second. Yeah. Oh, and is that tier 4 quest done as well? You're worth two grand, right, so we can sell you. Okay, so we'll select you and we can select another one. Um, rather than going for money, I'm actually going to go for the ergonomic grip. I know we've got a couple of them here, but they they are the best thing for stamina that we can put on all of our all of our bits and bobs here. Do you have oh special job here? Yes, trader route. We might have already done it. Trader Joel Southwest. We most likely have already done it. Right. I need to pick this stuff up. So let's just yeah talk to you. Right. What do I want to sell? That was a definite... I could put mods in it. I'm, to be honest, I'm not that fast. We've got so much money now. I just need to make sure I can pick up. We want the we want a better rocket launcher. Oh, right, let's pick you. this up. I think I lost... I think I lost my canopies. But I'm not fussed about that. Right. Auto shotgun. We've got better. So... I don't think I've got really anything I'm going to... Can you put a... Well, can what kind put... of lousy customer are you anyways? Oh, I put you into you. There we go. We don't need that. We may as well... There we go. Sell you. Right. Hunting rifle. Not fussed about. Always hunting rifles. Definitely going to be keeping hold of you. I would like a better SMG and I'd like a better uh, rocket launcher. Right. There we go. So we actually came out that with more 762. We've got 23,000 Dukes, which is phenomenal. Right. Buy the gunpowder. Might as well buy these. We've got the money. We've got the money. I do have the pumpkin cheesecake on me. I'm going to buy that because we're getting very low on that. I'll use that if we find something really good. Really, really good. Right, so we can now actually start doing the solar panel stuff. So that is really good news. Right, Fireman's Axe. Do more block damage. He actually had two for sale. How random is that? Um... Motion sensors, trip wires. See, this kind of stuff never came up before. Never before. There we go. He's actually got a level 5 SMG for 11,000 dukes. Now, we could go and take the uh, sugar butts. Uh, not the sugar butts. Sorry, he's got a crucible sale. Six grand. And you can't even sell it back to them. SWAT helmet. He's got the impact driver. So that's definitely one worth thinking about. Schematic for that. Solar banks. He's got lots here. He's got lots here. Now, I'm thinking about the SMG and maybe going into pistols. Let's Time go into... To move on. Yeah, quit your moaning. Quit your jibber-jabber, fool. I'm going to take the pumpkin cheesecake and I'm going to... T We've got loads of money, so I'm going to buy that SMG. Level 5. There you go, 10 grand. Yep, not a problem. Go and buy that. Don't need the night vision goggles. I do not want to be going out at night at all. There we go. Damn well, we're not going to take a job because we don't need those. Those tier four jobs. We've got all of them sorted. Last thing to check then. Opening trade routes. We've already been there a billion and one times. In fact, we found you before we even found found him before we even found you guys that's why i'm going to leave this episode that was a little bit nail-biting wasn't it it's um 
It's not how I normally play. This is so so out of my comfort zone playing like this. It is absolutely untrue. But we've made really good time. Oh, hello. We've made very, very... Oh, my God. We've made really good time. So that means I can get home, get a load more iron melted, make some more steel. And tomorrow we can go and do another one. So tomorrow we're probably going to go and do the waterworks. Which, again... I know like the back of my hand, I enjoy the water works, but I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy it playing on insane difficulty, because that I'm definitely not used to. But guys, as always, big thumbs up on the video. Any comments, make sure you put them down below. Look after yourselves, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.